All right, let's get this show on the road. I got some treats today instead of just mice because some of these babies had been fed um, just a few days ago and they really don't need to be eating all that protein. Well, not protein, but just all that fat from the mice. So I got some tilapia and some of them are getting regular mice because um, they're feeling kind of thin, but let's just run through them and see what we got. So. All right, Pookie's first. Let's see if he's actually going to eat today. <gasps> Pookie! Well, hello, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, get it. There we go. Good boy. Come on. Take it all the way. In case anyone's wondering, Pookie here is in Arctic toffee, but um, I don't know if he's Arctic. He just doesn't look it to me. I guess we'll find out when I breed him. I wouldn't be super disappointed to get more um, just Arctic toffees that look like their mother, Demi. I don't, I'm afraid to drop it because he's so little. I find it hard to believe that he could support this. I heard that. Baby. Don't drop it. He's very friendly. I don't think he's ever tried to bite me, but it's very also very skittish. There you go, baby. Make sure you eat that. Alright, that's it for him. This cube. Hopefully it's still focusing. Anyways, handling this camera, this DSLR. Or sorry, DSLR, mirrorless camera, and trying to feed them at the same time is difficult since I'm right-handed. They need a left-handed mirrorless camera. Demi. There she is, right there. She is totally ready for food. Honey, have here. Come on. Come on. Oh, yep, she's ready. Come on. There you go, baby. She definitely needs to be eating small mice at this point. She is an Arctic toffee conda from Jason Taylor. She looks fantastic. She's going to finish that in no time, so let's see if I can. Come on, sweetie. Come on, baby. You're okay. That's a good girl. Good girl, Demi. She's gorgeous with all those toffee colors. Her pattern when I first got her was very faded, and actually it seems to have popped in a lot more as she's grown. Oh, here she comes. She thinks she's getting more. Good girl. All right, watch your head, please. Come on, watch your head. Honey, head down. No, 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 no. See, this is what we have to deal with. Come on. See if she mistakes me for food. Bless you. Go on. Good girl. Maybe I'll give you some fish if you're good. No. No. See, this is going to be difficult while manning the camera. She's just so curious. Okay. Come on, sweetie. Here. You good girl? You're going to bite me? You gonna bite me or you're gonna come out? She got a pretty belly too. Here you go, come on. Good girl. Watch your head. There you go. That's Pookie up there. This should be Dixie. Let's see if she's out. Geez, she made a mess in her sandbox. I had to guess she's in here. Oh, I see a tongue. Hi, baby. You expecting food? You expecting food? Come on. Come here. So Dixie is a Mocha 100% Het Lavender with a bunch of other possible Hets, which I'm not counting on, but the one I'm really interested in is Het Lavender. Um, she's also possible Arctic, but I don't see it. And she is going to be a mother to moonstones hopefully 
Well, not moonstones, but probably moon dusts. If I can ever find a super arctic het lavender male. She is going to be a year old next month. There you go, baby. You're so cute. She's actually shaping up to be a really curious, really nice girl. She likes to hood up, but she barely ever hisses. She's becoming a sweet thing. Sweet little snake. And I actually prefer them with a little bit of cautiousness, so with a little bit of sass. Um, it almost guarantees that they have a very nice individual personality, and that's something you can work on and you know, work on getting them to know you. I don't know what the camera's focusing on, but seems to think there's a face in the upper right hand corner. Stop. Good girl. Okay, here we go with fish. That is not her. <laughs> Oops. No, Demi. Demi. Oh no. All right, fine. Here, look. Yeah, well, I need you to appreciate the fish too. Fine, I was planning on giving you extra fish anyways. <sighs> I get these mixed up when I start taking out the cards ahead of time. I have to cut this all together, so I take the cards out ahead of time since I don't have three arms to manage everything. Okay, let's see if she doesn't go nuts after she finishes that. Sweetheart, what the heck, you greedy girl. They love their tilapia. I actually think I only have one hognose who's ever refused tilapia. No, no, no. Come on. Flat palms. You're supposed to bite me. Okay. Uh uh uh. Don't you bite. Come on, girl. She used to be really excitable when I first got her, and now she's just extremely laid back. It's still very food motivated. Anyway, Gabby's next. Let's see if she's out. She's probably not. Oh, well, she she's kind of out. She's in the back there. I don't want to pull this all the way out because it'll fall. There she is. Baby. Baby, I don't want to tap you with it. It'll make you all gross. You might bite yourself. I think she's coming around the corner here. Come on, sweetie. So she's very shy, but extremely food motivated. Come on. What? You love tilapia. Come on. This is, oh, yep. She smelled it. She smelled it. Come on. You want it? Yep. There we go. She loves her fish. She goes cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over this stuff. This, she used to be a live eater only. This is how I trained, trained her off of live. I had to use tilapia to scent the frozen thawed stuff, and ever since then she will accept both. I no longer have to do live with her. She also has a couple injuries on her. She has a couple crushed ribs back here in her front. And then when I got her, um, she had a cut down near her vent on her belly. And uh, there was actually a rib poking through on one point, which seems to have healed at this point. We have no, the breeder and I have no idea how that happened to her in shipping, but um, it all worked out. I didn't have to take her to the vet or anything for that. But um, yeah, she cups, has a couple defects, but I still love her. You want another one? I actually put everybody, baby, I actually put everybody down for two. No, no, she can still smell it here. Come on, get, get your butt up. Get your butt up. Come on. Here. I'm not ready yet. Oh, and there's poop in there. See, I thought I... I thought I cleaned that up. Gabby, why are you under the water, honey? No, she's not. Hello? Come on. Come over to your dish. Come over to your feeding... Come over to your feeding dish. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Good girl. That's a good girl. So there's her second piece. She is gorgeous. She's not quite what I wanted in a Super Arctic. I had always expected to get one with completely black saddles, but um, she's still gorgeous. I love her. What, what's that? 
I'm going to have to look at the video again to figure out what that was all about. Hopefully that wasn't a rupture in her mouth. Baby. You okay? Not that went wrong, right? Alright. That's her too. I was going to add supplements, but I can't do that. No, keep your head down. Keep your head down. We're pushing you closed, okay? Good girl. Alright, keep your head down. Watch your tongue. Good girl. Night night, honey. That was Gabby. A super arcticonda, possible head albino. I cannot pronounce the name of the breeder that I got her from, which I feel bad about, but, um, well, I also can't remember his name at the moment, but uh, he was working with me through her injuries, and um, I'll recommend him sometime.